Welcome to Studio G, this is Linda. In the last three years, pandemic-era food stamps, known as emergency allotments, have made a big impact on supermarket sales. These extra benefits, however, are set to come to an end, which could have a negative impact on supermarket sales for the year. Since March 2020, the federal government has added $98 billion of extra assistance to households' food budgets on top of regular food stamps issued through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. These boosts made food stamps an important component of food sales, accounting for 12.3% of total at-home U.S. food and beverage retail sales in 2022, up from 7.1% in 2019 according to HSA Consulting, a retail industry research firm. However, Congress in late December decided to end the food stamp boost, which means SNAP-eligible households in 35 U.S. states and jurisdictions will lose at least $95 a month in benefits starting in March, according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, a nonpartisan research and policy institute. Although New Jersey passed legislation in February to make up for at least part of that SNAP cut through state funding, most states are not expected to follow suit. As a result, households' monthly SNAP benefits are expected to decline by about $3 billion a month starting in March. This decrease could have a noticeable impact on dollar stores and supermarket sales since food stamps account for more than 10% of overall dollar store revenues and can account for more than 20% of supermarket sales in lower-income areas, according to Howard Jackson, president of Asia They Consulting. An August report by BMO Capital Markets estimated that supermarkets in eight states that ended SNAP emergency allotments underperformed those in the 38 states that were still on them in the fiscal second quarter ended August 2022. While the cost of living adjustment on the regular SNAP benefit raised the size of food stamps by 12.5% starting in October, an 8.7% increase in Social Security benefits means some households will either see a step down in SNAP benefits or stop qualifying for the food stamp program this year. As a result, Goldman Sachs expects overall SNAP benefits to decline 7% this year compared with the last, after at least three consecutive years of growth. Bargain retailer Grocery Outlet had the highest exposure to SNAP dollars, with food stamps accounting for roughly 15% of total sales in 2021. Others with high exposure include Walmart, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Kroger, and BG's Wholesale Club, all of which saw almost 10% of revenue come from food stamps. Despite the decrease in SNAP benefits, discount supermarkets and dollar stores may still fare well since they have started seeing more business from inflation-crunched, higher-income consumers who might have previously shopped at upscale grocers such as Whole Foods. In conclusion, while low-income consumers still seem to be in good shape with unemployment rates remaining at record lows, fading food stamp benefits and smaller tax refunds could suddenly sensitize a large block of consumers to higher prices, leading to an intensified market share fight among supermarkets.